Hello, welcome back to the more Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones Blind. Last time we did chapter 16. This time we'll be doing chapter 17, Rivers of Regrets. Do you guys have any regrets? I, I'm sure I do. <laughs> um, we got promoted Erica and Ephraim last time. I'm sorry if my voice is hoarse. Um, I know it definitely will be today. So, yeah. Um, apologies about that. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Maybe I'll talk a little bit whispery. I think it's only going to be this case for this episode, but, um, yeah. Uh, I'm on a content grind and I need this out, even if my voice is fucked. Alright, anyways, okay. Sacred stones that defeated the demon king radiate a constant and dazzling light. The sacred stones are the only power against the dark, the last hope of humanity. Interesting. It is only natural that evil would seek to destroy the sacred stones. There can be no other force behind this attempt to gain the stones. Childhood friend appears before Erica. Leon, okay. I guess it's a Leon-centric sort of uh, episode this time, or, or sort of chapter, I guess. River of Regrets. Okay. Doesn't really tell me too much about what type of- well, I guess it's a river map of sorts. Another flashback? Cool, cool, cool. How do you intend to use the Sacred Stone, Leon? Do you really think you can tap into its power? My research isn't complete yet, but there's no mistake in the power the secret sto Sacred Stones contain. And the Stone of Grotto seems especially responsible to my dark magic. I suppose it's because it contains both sacred and demonic properties. Regardless, if I can just press my studies in a little harder, well, I think I might be able to use it to heal my father's illness. If that works, there's no telling how many other people I can help as well. Do you think this is wise? The power contained within the stones is beyond our understanding. My father tells me that the stones possess a power not to be trifled with. <laughs> father McGregor is also against it. That's why they still won't give me direct access to the Stone of Grotto. Alright, interesting. For the time being, I've made do with the radiant and radiant energy surrounding it. They're nothing compared to the raw power of the stone itself, but if I can show Father McGregor some real progress, perhaps one day, using the sacred stones to study magic. Ephraim, Erica, what do you two think? Using the divine power of the sacred stones in this way. You don't think it's a very good idea, do you? It's just that I know nothing at all of magic. I would, uh, I'm sorry, I would that there were, hmm? I would that there was some way I could help you, but I simply can't. But Leon, I've seen how hard you've worked to help others. I know how much you want the power to make others happy. I know these things, and because I know you, I trust your intentions, Ephiram. If you hope to use the power of the Sacred Stone for good, I trust you can. I'm behind you all the way. I agree with Ephiram entirely. You spend every night in the library studying curses for your father's illness. The power of the Sacred Stones is too powerful to be used for a personal game. But you, Leon, I think you'll be fine. You're the kindest person I know. Thanks, both of you. Hearing those words from you means a lot to me. Actually, and this hasn't been made public yet, but I've already saved someone using the knowledge I've gleamed so far. You have? Uh-huh. A while back, a fire ravaged a uh, seraphew, and a few little girl got trapped in the flames. Her burns were terrible, not even healing staves were able to cure her injuries. Interesting. That's really interesting world building that I didn't know about. But just a sliver of the stone's power restored her life and healed her wounds. We saved the girl's life, Ephraim. Oh, if you could have seen the tears of joy in her mother's eyes. You really did it, huh? You are special, Leon. Congratulations. Well, thanks. There's still so much more to be done. I'm happy, though. To be honest, I just want to be able to help some uh, people. I want to put the ancient magics to use for the common good. That's how I feel. Leon. As my research moves forward, I'll be able to do much more, too. We have only the barest, barest understanding of, of how dark magic operates. Maybe we can use it not only to heal wounds, but also to stop diseases. What if we can read the future, predict disasters, move mountains? Hold on, Leon, you can't take too much on yourself all at once. What good is helping people if you sacrifice yourself to do it? Oh yes, of course. Sorry, I got carried away. You have a soft heart, Leon. I bet you haven't taken any real time off at all. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going into the city. And you're going with us, Leon. What? But Ephraim, you got a history report, you. We're to taking today off. Come on, let's go. But, but, Ephraim. It's just one day and I won't tell anyone. Won't it be fun for the three of us to spend a day in the city? Ephraim, Erica, thanks so much. I'm lucky to have the two of you as friends. Interesting, okay. Again, I am very much digging this story. Um, it's not as grand scale as the Frelia, um, or, you know, yeah, like the the Burn and Frelia and all that, like the Blazing Blade, Binding Blade story. It's not as grand or on that scale, but this is, yeah, it's like a nice little Gaiden story, you know? Um, again, in, in a similar sense that back in the day, especially like in the 80s and 90s, they would make you know, like a video game, and then they'll make a spin-off, um, that has nothing to do with the previous one, you know. That was kind of just, um, common practice, as you say, so. 
The Stone of Renee's final sacred stone is in Ralston. Now, Rachel, can you tell us anything about the Stone of Ralston? Naturally, as Ralston's very own princess, I know a thing or two about our stone. The palace reliqu uh, relic hmm? reliquary currently houses our sacred stone. Follow me and I'll take you there. I sent the Freyland army ahead before us. They should be en route to Ralston. If we hurry, we can join with up with them at the banks of the Narube River. Th that is a gross river? Unless it's some magical shit, like tree drew or something, you know, tree sap <laughs> or something like that. Either that or it's really dirty, I'm not sure. Do not fall to show them the might of Frelia. Okay, I guess we're just gonna see Frelians get murdered. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> oh, okay. They all just don't even get attacked and they get killed. Oh, okay. That one was deserved. And that one as well, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyways. Okay, some knights. It's cool that they're doing little cutscenes like this. Alright. Lady Serene, the enemy is headed this way. You have a, a funky headband from the 80s. Are you serious? Gora is being defeated and still they fight on and they're tough. You Frillian fools have been wiped out by those guys. Oh no, now we're finished as well. Everyone, please remain calm. If you panic and flee, the enemy will simply surround you. If you remain here and don't move, I promise to protect you all. Lady Serene. Alright, I guess we have to recruit her. I don't know. Brother, look there. A skirmish. Is that Serene? What's going on? We must go to her aid. Why did the music cut out? I don't know. Everyone hold. Something evil is afoot. Is a hand. Sorry, I, th that was fucking stupid. Okay. <laughs> Leon. Erica, F your arm. Leon, where have you been all this time? Erica, stop. Brother. Leon, we must recent- hmm? We met recently, Grotto. Keep right. Do you remember what you told me then? You told me this was all you were doing, that you had started this war. What? F your arm. Why are you so angry? We haven't seen each other in so long. What's happened? Leon. Wait, Erica, you said it yourself. Leon must be under the control of someone or something else. If you're wondering, I... Well, I was singing all day, basically. Um, <laughs> that's why my voice is fucked. But still, I want to do this for you guys. Hopefully, it's not going to be this jank for the rest of the series or anything. Um, it'll be back to normal by tomorrow. Um, so don't worry about that. But Or, I say tomorrow, by the next upload is what I meant. Alright. Don't be ridiculous, there must be something wrong with you, Afiram. Leon is one of our dearest and closest friends, remember? He told us uh, that no matter what happened, he was still on our side. Isn't that right, Leon? Yes, Erica, of course it is. So please come here, closer. Ah, uh, g g Okay, Leon. G yeah, he definitely has two sides. Evil. Stay back, Erica. What? Get away from me, quickly. If you don't, I will surely destroy you. What? Leon. Flee, Qu quickly, go. G ah. Okay, L Leon, hold on. What is it? What's happening? Mm. Oh, okay. He's like evil Leon now. <laughs> the cool Leon. <laughs> Hi. It's been a while since I saw you two last, hasn't it? Leon. Oh, is it? Maybe it's his father's soul or something? Is that really you speaking, Leon? Stay back, Erica. Keep your guard up. That's not Leon. Oh. I'm not Leon. That's rich. A masterpiece. You always thought Leon was kind, gentle, and weak, didn't you admit it? No, Leon. Erica and I were friends. There were things we kept to ourselves, of course, but we shared so much. No matter what happened, no matter how much time passed, we're still friends. Leon would never ever betray us, not in a million years. You know, Leon. Hmm. Looks like I was wrong to disregard the value of human emotions. What? I've had uh, my fun pretending to be human, but the need for charades have passed. You're correct, this body no longer belongs to your young Leon. I devoured his pathetic heart ages ago. You monster, who are you? Do you really not know me? What a poorly educated prince. Think about it, remember the legends of your pitiful kind? What was sealed with the stone of the grotto? What is the name of terror? No, it can't be. It's as we feared after all, that can only be the great adversary of antiquity, the Demon King. What, does he just not have a name? He he ha ha ha. You and Leon are a prince of misery. Come out, be not shy. This body's lost to you, it is mine to compel. What's going? Your dreams, Leon. I am about to make them come true for you. I'm about to crush Prince Ephiram and take it Princess Erica for my own. Isn't this all that you've ever prayed for, young fool of a prince? Ah. Oh. Rejoice, Leon, the time has come. If you're the man you envy, Erica, the woman you desire, I will now grant you all of your darkest wishes. Okay, well, I'm guessing he's not going to be the boss this time, but maybe next time. Alright, um, so we have 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Also, oh wait, hold on. Oh wait, no, sorry, I'm an idiot. Uh, we already promoted him. For some reason, I thought we didn't. Uh, we could give the talisman to someone, but I'll do my little shuffle first, I think. Alright, let's do our shuffle. I'm going to choose the 11 characters that uh, Eric is going to take with her, so let's do that real quick. I might skip through this just because my voice is a bit, you know, messy, so I'll be back after we get all the numbers. 
Whoops, I'm dumb. I accidentally put 12 instead of 24. I'm gonna do that again, but again, I will cut it, so one second. All right, we got our 11 numbers, so those are it, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, show you guys which ones I got. All right, so we got Natasha, we got Ford, um, 5, 6, 7, Tatis, Arthur as well, Ephiram, good stuff, E1, Cormag, Loot, 14, Garcia, 15, 21, uh, Innes. Hold on, I'm missing, <laughs> I'm missing somebody, hold on. Oh, I forgot 23, it's Dusel. Okay, pretty good uh, lineup, actually. Alright, I'm gonna do uh, my items, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Oh, wait, Natasha and Cormac have a thing? I didn't even know that. I'll keep that in mind then, cool, cool, cool. So, here's the thing, um, I do know that... Actually, I'm gonna look up something. I know there's a secret shop coming up soon. And I only said that because, well, E1 has a guiding ring here, but Natasha's at level 10 right now. So I kind of considered promoting him, uh, him? <laughs> promoting her, um, right now, if we can get a secret shop. So one second. What chapter are we on again? Um, because yeah, it did say chapter 19. We're on chapter 17. Oh, okay, okay. I'll keep that in mind then. I think for the time being, I might promote her then. I feel like that's the right thing to do, because she's level 10 now, so... And it would be nice for her to actually attack, or at least have the capabilities of attacking. Oh, I see. Bishop or Valkyrie. You can be a Valkyrie? Oh, you can ride around then! Yeah, I'll do that. Now, there is literally no reason to use LaRachel. <laughs> so, uh, sorry to the one LaRachel fan watching this, but... Um, we got the goat Natasha here. I'll, uh, I'll try and get her- oh my god, okay, pretty good. Resistance is pretty insane, okay. But, um, yeah, I'll try and get the Cormag support happening, so. You know what, I'm gonna go to the armory and sell the- oh, it's only 450. I don't really want to use this though, so I'm gonna sell it, that's fine. If Ola would never, uh, <laughs> anyways. Oh my god, we had the Tomahawk, I completely forgot about that. You're not an S-rank in Axis, but you could be. You, you might use the GOM at one point, that is definitely true. You're very close to getting an S-rank. Did we have- was there an S-rank or a legendary bow weapon in this game? I mean, there might be later on, but I don't- I don't think there is one right now. Alright, let's jump into things. I'm just gonna jump into it, this one. Let's see, player phase already, okay. So, what's the situation with the river? Okay, they can't go over it, I see. The boss is up there, it's Dark Leon, I guess. Could just wait for the time being to get these wyverns coming across. They're gonna start breaking the, um, the snag, of course, so... Um... Could go... Take a look at items, maybe? Depends what they have. They have Divine! Oh, okay. Don't think we really need it though, to be fair. Alright, well... Oh, I see, you gotta protect the river fo <laughs> the river folk, I guess. <laughs> so I suppose it's good to go in the middle. Also, I should, um, I should also take a look, um, who recruits Serene, so one sec. Talk with Tana, Vanessa, or Innes. Okay, so two dead chicks, uh, and Innes, which we do have, luckily, so... Well, I, I don't know. Actually, we could steal her items, so... Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, again, I won't be using her in any attacking situations. But for the time being, I suppose I'll get the siblings up front. Actually, it doesn't really have to be, but... We'll, we'll start moving towards the center, I guess. Because I think these guys still need to... We have Fimble Battle that you actually drop. You have a Guiding Ring! Fantastic! Oh, I can just grab that one then. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, of course, these guys can go around this way as well, but... Uh, I think for the time being, it's definitely good to get everyone over into the center here. Okay, let's get Innes up. And you one I'm gonna have to be a little bit wary of, uh, of course. I mean, I could fly over with Cormag and stuff, but Silver Sword. Yeah, oh, you have a Brave Axe that you drop? That's kind of cool. That's neat. Um, Cormag's fine, of course. Uh, now that I know that Natasha and Cormac support, which I didn't even know that was a thing, but that's cool. So I suppose I'll get that happening. And then, is this a C stage? 
uh, defeat boss, and they they just had their A rank support. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, what do you want here? I think he's fine. From what I understand, maybe. Um, but I will start the um, sibling support here because that might give them nice boosts. Does Ford need anything else? Um, he needs one more, but it can't be with Erica. It could be with Apiram, or I could do it with uh, with Franz, the two uh, siblings there. I'll put Garcia up front because he's usually good at that, and let's end our turn. Okay. It looks like a relatively simple map. It's not ridiculously big, and from what I can tell, there's no boltings or purge or anything. The only thing that's kind of scary are the wyverns, but other than that, it doesn't seem too bad. Um, and at the end of the day, if the Pegasus, if um, thingy over here dies, uh, I'm not too fussed about that either. So, the question is, I suppose we'll go for the mages first, even though the boss is right there, so... I feel like I want to get rid of the other riffraff first, but I could get someone else, like a secondary group, to go up this way. Steel Axe, Steel Axe, Silver Lance, and Lightning. Okay. It's not too bad, actually. Hmm. Oh, you have a stealable Dragon Shield. Um, I do not have a Thief, by any means, but... Like, if I got a second team, like, Doosal and Cormag and stuff to start going this way... I could get the EXP whilst everyone else stays in the center, maybe? I don't know. Like Ephiram and stuff. Because, um, I mean, if we block this side off, yeah, then the, the mages can't attack the children here. Um, and we'll have to deal with the Wyvern Riders relatively quickly, so let's get some of the characters up this way. I don't. Uh, Seth's not with me this time. Yeah. Of course, Cormag can also just fly directly over and start attacking. Which is also cool. Uh, what do they have? Slim Lance. Okay, they're not that strong from what I can tell. So, could lure. I might lure. Um, I'm sure he's okay. Now, I could attack the snag, but then this guy's gonna start moving. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them to attack the snag, I think, for the time being. I'm gonna get Doosel here. You dance for him. Uh, and then you can go up front. You could attack it, obviously. I wouldn't be as opposed to Doosal being in the front line, but that's okay, we'll, we'll wait for one turn. And then Natasha and Cormag, I'll do that eventually, later sometime. And then I'll get Innes up so that he can get the the thingies. Um, I don't know, where's... Who are the healers that we have this time again? I mean, we have Arthur and stuff, but... Is that it? I think that's it. Uh, I could put Natasha... I'll put Natasha here. Okay, let's see. Things could be bad. I mean, they're gonna destroy the snag this turn. Yeah, I thought so. But at least I can waste their thing here. Okay. He has the hand axe. Doosel's completely fine. So if we can get rid of all these guys uh, on the left with this group. Um, and then get rid of the boss. Oh, the heroes can cross water. I see. I didn't know that, but that's okay. Cormag, uh, his animations are turned off, I think. Okay. Not a problem. Uh, I wonder if the druids and stuff are gonna attack, um, Harumgul over there. I don't know if that's the case or not. Okay, good stuff. One more. Yep, nice. Okay, let's just speed that up. Okay. So, and you're coming down here as well. Yep. Bang, bang. Okay. It's nice EXP. I'll give it to you. It is very nice EXP. Okay. Alright. Sh sure, I'll take it. She does look like she's somewhat capable. She, <laughs> she's. Are you a wind sword? Because you seem to be capable. <laughs> um, sorry. If you don't get it, don't worry. Uh, okay. If you actually get well, no, okay. I was uh, too too many high hopes. I was about to say if you get rid of the um, wyverns for me, that'd be fantastic. But uh, yeah, that was asking for too much, as as it clearly clearly seemed like. Alright, well, Ford can actually go up here with a Dragon Spear. It's just, how do I get rid of the Druid? Um, I can't do that this turn. At least I don't think so, because Erica can't reach the, uh, you can't reach the Druid there. Um, for the time being, can Cormac finish this guy off? Heavy Spear, Killer Lance? Yes, he can. Okay. So, let me just turn on the animations, because his were off for some reason, don't know why. Oh yeah, Natasha's can, uh, can use lightning and stuff now, that's great. 
Alright, we'll go for Killer Lance. Nice crit. That's what you like to see. Again, I love this s serpentine, like, snake-styled, um, drag- uh, wyvern there. Very cool stuff. Okay. Pop off, King. Pop off. Um, go for it. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, I mean, now that a another guiding ring is in sight, I mean, it would be stupid not to do this, right? So there we go, good stuff. In fact, I could probably dance for him and uh, go for another one, but... For the time being, I'll go for... Oh. Okay, I see. Might have to go with uh, Homeboy over here, then. Uh, I guess we'll one-shot with the Silver Lance. Is that critical? Nice, okay. Nice level up, let's take a look. Okay, cool stuff, cool stuff. Uh, again, it is kind of interesting that there's not really many exclusive characters in each path. You kind of just get both of them, like, it just at different times. Okay, so you're doing eight, I see. Right, how much is loot doing? Nine, fourteen. Let's get fourteen going on first. Yeah, burning attack here, of course. <laughs> just like trunks. Did I say nine? Because I did not calculate that, but, oh no, it was eight, never mind. Um, can Arthur... Oh, because he's in, he's in support range, I see. Well, in that case, I might as well just go for the chip damage. And, uh, or the chippy XP, I should say. And, uh, cool, okay. Right, so I will finish this guy off now. The Elfire, yep. Nice. The, uh, Pent Sprite, of course, <laughs> as I like to call it, with the fingerless gloves. Love that one to bits. Okay. So, they're gonna be able to move from next turn after crossing, but... That could be an issue, that could be annoying to deal with, but I don't think their movement's too crazy, at least, because they're not on horseback or anything. For the time being, um... I'll iron... Oh, I could steal bar. I'll steal bar this guy. Bang. Alright, cool. So I could get forward up with the Dragon Slayer. Or the Dragon Spear, I should say. And I'll finish off this guy. As so simply, ever so simply, I should say. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, cool. I, I like it. Alright. Okay, what now? Um, suppose I could get someone up front. Silver axe, right? It's an axe man. I need a sword user. Alright, I guess we'll... What do you do? Your defense is really high. Okay. And the FRMC support, of course. Um, I suppose Garcia can go up there then. Actually, can the druid? No. He can't attack the, the children, so that's fine. Alright, um, I'm guessing you get a little reward if you save them. That's the only reason why I'm saving these children. <laughs> they don't mean anything to me. Alright, so they're still crossing the river. Some wyverns. Okay, cool stuff. Interesting. Going for forward here. Um, again, he's got the dragon spear. He'll be completely fine. Um, his defense is a little bit shaky, I must admit. That's a little bit unfortunate, but other than that, though, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Alright, he's finally starting to attack the snag. The others might actually start doing that as well. Okay, I thought you were going to go for Pegasus Lady, but okay, interesting. Alright, cool. Can you attack, please? You're not going to, okay. God, you're useless. Are all Pegasus riders like this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Um, okay. Well. Okay, so the hero actually can't make it, so I might as well just keep going up with Dusel. <laughs> I feel. Um. Oh, keeping in mind that. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to just attack these guys, I think. Yep. I'll go with these guys. Now, the question is. Yeah, loot's. So, wait, is loot the only one? Loot's the only one in danger. I think we can ambush this guy with all the magic the magic people here, you know? Personally. Um, Alright, so I'm just gonna do this. I'll do the support. Hello, loot. Hmm. What is that? You look like you have something on your mind. Oh. No, I was just thinking about monsters. Monsters? Yes. Monsters Inc., my favorite movie. <laughs> all these monsters are our enemies, I know, but they're not all bad, are they? What are you talking about? Kind of cute, don't you think? I mean, like, there's Revenants, for example. So I will never understand your tastes. Besides, it's... Well, the evil eyes are kind of cute. Well, cute's, cute's pushing it a bit. But, um... They're, they're interesting to look at, yes. 
Besides, I thought you enjoyed using them as well in magic practice. I do, I do indeed. Use my magic to read them to shreds with love, of course. Your way of expressing love is somewhat frightening. Do you think so? Thank you. No, that wasn't a compliment. Why why was there a bit of frame drop there? I don't I don't know. Is my computer okay? It's not overheating, is it? I don't think it is. Alright. Should I uh, expect you to attack me with magic too? Hmm? Or would I attack you with my magic? You don't get it? No. The strange like baffles even my brilliant brilliant mind. That's why I'm curious. Really, you don't get it. No, I don't. Really don't. <laughs> Stop that. I'm just giving you a hard time, loot. Alright, I'll just come straight out and say it. Finally. Because I like you. What? In fact, I love you, and I'm hoping perhaps that you love me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, do you understand? Uh, um, according to a young girl's primitive Nizonian magic, that most ancient tome long sought by uh, the terrible demon king himself. It's not uncommon for a party to assign feelings of uh, love to the reanimated re hordes they confront on the battlefield. And considering my incredible brain and the remarkable skills that loot, well, that is what I mean is, what's wrong with you? I don't often see you lose your cool. That's because, yes? Well, my books don't tell me anything about how to deal with love, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little out of depth when it comes to love. No, you're not. Love needs no textbooks. Just be yourself and listen to your feelings. Is that all I need to do? I promise. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Yes? Well, uh, yes? I'm glad you're here. I am too, Lud. Okay. Sweet. I'll take it. Um, r sorry, Roa. I guess Ross's girlfriend, um, got taken now, so... Um, uh, but anywho, okay. So what's what's the deal here, right? You're not you're not in the danger zones at all, are you? Okay. What should I do with Cormag? Um I do want to use him well here, but the only guy he could potentially attack? Yeah, he doesn't even have a throwing weapon, so I can't actually attack with him. Uh and you don't either, okay. Alright, and I don't think Yeah, because it's Sword Reaver, isn't it? Alright, what is the deal here? Okay, so Erica is gonna get attacked by this one remnant with 10 strength. She should be fine for at least one hit, I think. And our speed is much higher anyways, so... We also have Natasha to heal up. Um, I think these guys are gonna take some time getting over any- Actually, even if they do get over, they can't actually come over, can they? Because there's a mountain here. So we'll have to go around to finish them off, I suppose. Or use Cormag. Uh, for the time being. I suppose I could help out with the heroes and stuff. That could be the way to go about it. Yes indeed, okay. Actually, I could dance for him. No, I can't, because that means Tedis is going to be in the danger zone. Maybe next turn I might dance for him. Alright, well in that case, I will, uh... uh I'm going to go with Ford. He is hoping, he is hoping, because... I guess I'll go with- well, it doesn't really matter what I use. Um, here's hoping that Ines can actually reach- There was two of them, I didn't even realize. Huh. I'm gonna keep this one alive, because he's got the javelin. Let's go and, uh, I'll finish this guy off. Okay, cool. I think either way, I mean, you're probably gonna attack forward here, but he should be okay for now. Um... Well, I might as well just just for the lols, just for the memes. I'm just gonna bring Garcia uh, up because if he <laughs> if he gets attacked and said that could be rather funny. All right, um, I think that's it for my turn, personally. All right, I don't know why I said personally. <laughs> uh, he is actually going for for combo. Okay, thirteen, rather rather scary. Oh, that, that is incredibly smooth, and that was great. Nice. Um. But yeah, no, that is a ridiculously smooth animation. I dig it. I dig it to bits. Okay. Right, sure. Ooh, this might hurt a bit. Okay. It will hurt Dusel, but it's gonna hurt you even more. <laughs> Dies from a 21 silver lance. Right, good stuff, good stuff. Fantastic. The Cavalli is probably gonna go here as well. Yep, zero damage. Even great. Uh, even greater, sorry, I should say. And uh, he's gonna destroy this Nagwa. Now, what is gonna happen here? Alright, that's kind of what I thought. <laughs> um, Alright, interesting. Oh! Sorry, River Folk, I didn't realize you were in the danger zone. Oh, well, I'm not getting the uh, the bonus item or whatever it is. I, I might actually look that up. Um, oh, I see, it's just the rescue stuff, apparently. I'm not too fussed about that, then. Not saying that rescue stuff isn't helpful, but I'm saying, you know, if it was a promotional item, I would have been a little bit more distraught. Um, okay. So, 29. I can actually just give this kill to E1. 
I literally could. Let's do it. Okay. Nice. Let's take a look. Level 2. Speed is going really hard. Um, insanely good, can I just say. Uh, keeping in mind that E1 did get the, um, or this game's version of the Alpha's Drops. I forget what they're called in this game. Um, but I did give that to him a few chapters ago. Oh my god, okay. I guess because it's a promoted unit. Um, but you go. You go, boy. Alright, good stuff. Fantastic. Now, right, so they're not gonna... They'll take some time, and uh, that's fine as well. Uh, oh, I can actually go onto the... Can they go onto the... Oh, they can go onto the, the mountains, I see. Well, I might just wait, because I know that the hero can't actually... Um, the hero won't be able to go on land, even if I move with Erica. Oh yeah, right, this is a uh, new animation as well. Huh, cool stuff. Very Aliwood-like, I dig it. I dig it a lot. Guiding ring, fantastic. Um, I sent Steel Lance back, uh, well, actually I probably could have sent the Guiding Ring back. For the time being, that's okay. Um, and Natasha might be able to do something here. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, Cormag. Also, I could actually just do this. Oh, he's got the Brave Axe, I see. That makes sense. 15 times 2. It is a 16. Oh, uh, what was that one? Was that the Heavy Spear? Or the Steel Lance? Uh, Iron Lance, maybe. Yeah. He's gonna double with 8 times 2, which means he's gonna double Erica as well. Which isn't particularly great. Um, okay, hold on. Berserker. I could lure this guy out with... Yeah, although you don't have a... I'm just gonna have to use an axe then. I'll get the silver axe and then heal up. Okay. He's not going to die to one hit is is the good thing here, though. So, let's see. Garcia might actually be able to go hard here, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oh, unless there's something that can... No, there isn't. Okay. I was hoping there was something that was one hit and that did 19 damage. But I guess not. Yep, cool stuff. Okay, nice. He's doing alright. He's actually doing alright. Let's take a look. Level up. Okay, we can actually promote you if we needed to, so that's that's nice. I suppose I know Russ has a hero quest uh, crest on him right now, so um, I suppose I'm gonna go down, finish this guy off with Innes. Yep, and then um, weapon S rank. Oh my god. Okay, and then Ford can come here. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, I'm going to trade so that you have a throwable item equipped. Just in case. And I'll go for the... Uh, something that can finish. I'll just use the Dragon Spear. Just to be on the safe side. Just so I don't get that 6 damage. I mean, I, like, it's not a lot, but at the same time. Um, and C... Oh no, sorry. A rank with Spears. Great stuff. Okay. Swordmaster. Killing you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Um, not particularly happy about that, but uh, what can you do? Um, I want to keep Cormag there, then I think. Arthur and Loot can stay there as well, I think, maybe. Um, you know, even though I can technically heal them both. Um, actually I might do that. Because, uh, now Arthur and Loot don't actually have to be in the same areas anymore. Um, you know, I mean, if they're in the, th uh, the same three range, then that's fine. End my turn, let's see what happens. Could be a disaster. No, probably not, but 8 times 2 could be pa could have been painful, but uh, that's okay. Nice. Um, not going to be able to finish him off, and then he's going to get 2 more, or...? No, no, okay, okay. Cool. Sure. Right, now... Oh, shit, okay. Well, that just happened, but uh, Dussel does not care. <laughs> Dussel does not care about any crits. Okay. Seems like the reinforcements have kind of chilled though, which is good. Okay, you're getting L fired. No, that was a nice dodge animation. Yeah, very fluid. Good stuff. I like how he spins his lance before he attacks with it. It's incredibly impractical, but uh, it is very stylish. I dig it. Can he tank Fimble better? That is a question that um, we shall see. Um, this could be a game over if I'm not careful. 14. Okay, he can tank a Fimble better. That's good. Alright, good stuff. Um, loot might actually be able to use... 
Oh my god, there's so many druids this chapter, I don't know why. But okay, I suppose I'll just, um, get everything done with, uh, old Doosel over here. I'll use the hand axe just because, uh, oh, not gonna finish you off. Oh, okay. Um, I probably should have done my math a little bit better there, huh? Uh, these druids I could probably just chill with for the time being. Okay, what I might do is I'll move you one up. Um, steel sword, I suppose. Nice. And then I'll get you behind to back up if, if need be. And then I'm gonna talk with you. Yeah. Serene. Princess, uh, Prince Innes, is it? I really is, is, isn't it Prince Innes? Being rescued by you, it's like a dream. Serene, I need a status report. Oh, oh yes, please forgive me. The Frelian troops were di uh, dispatched, uh, were ambushed and decimated. My squad is all that remains. So many dead. You can rest easy now, Serene. I'm here, victory is assured. Let's go. Let's start, Prince Innes. Alright, so I'm not gonna be using you, but what I can do... What I might actually do... <laughs> well, oh, we have two, I see. But what I could actually do here is get rid of the steel sword and then just have you there. If you die, you die, I don't care. Um, because at the end of the day it will lower the odds of, I mean, it will heighten the odds of characters that I want to appear, to actually appear, right? In the shuffle, so. I'm gonna give this to homeboy here, yep. He's going ridiculously hard. I guess it's because of all the, the drugs I've given, I mean, all the items I've given him. <laughs> um, 17 magic, even with the one ping he's doing insane, so. Alright, we don't need the brave axe. Alright, and you're gonna take some time to get here, which is great. Alright, Tedus, um... Well, there is also the situation with the... What was the item again? We got a... Didn't we get a tome or something? Am I crazy? We got something. I genuinely forgot what we just got. That's okay, though. Uh, even Regenleaf. I wanna take a look at what Sigmund looks like. Oh, okay, it's just the cut-in with that. I guess it's not a custom weapon or anything. I guess this is kind of like a Sigmund theme. Oh wait, no, no, sorry, we didn't get the tome yet. Sorry, that peaked. I am definitely quieting that down. Um, but yeah, it's. It, I was talking about how I was just about to get Fimblevero. Um, I want to put Guiding Ring back. Can loot? Is loot an A? She is an A rank, so I might actually be able to use the Fimblevero here, which is great, which is fantastic. All right, um, Cormac can actually go down there, but I would much rather um, E1 get this one, I think. So, maybe I'll try and help out Doosel. I'll try and help out Doosel. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh! Retreating? Okay. Alright, if you die... I was hoping that he was the one that was gonna attack you. Because again, he is the killing edge one, so I was a little bit worried about that. Alright. Cool, we could actually get that kill to, uh, call my kill. If you die, that's fine, okay. Sirene's, um, tanking everything, which is, which is good. I mean, I will, you know... Hold on. Hold on, though. I, I... I, um, did something that I shouldn't have, right? Because, uh, I did say I was not giving pegs a single bit of EXP, so... I apologize for that. I apologize for the sword usage there. I didn't mean to do I didn't intend to do it that way. Um, they're all gonna go for her, so I might try and lure her with her uh, down that way. If she dies, I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely using her as in uh, fully knowing or fully expecting her to die here. Um, so that's cool. Okay. Uh, if she can lure out and, and move some of the other characters, then that's even better, right? So, okay. I'll go for the double. Yep, cool. Alright. So now E1 can actually go for him. Uh, keeping in mind that Ephiram is going to be able to join the battle in a, mi uh, in a bit, um, of course, because uh, we can go over these mountains, apparently. I didn't know that was even a thing that you could do, but that's okay. Uh, I think that's different from Blazing Blade, isn't it? Because in Blazing Blade, you couldn't go over mountains if you were on horseback, uh, but I guess they changed that up a bit. So that's cool. Um, Alright, and we'll feed you more EXP, because uh, that's how it's done. And these are promoted units, so you're gonna get some beefy XP, exactly. Exactly what I'm saying. Great. Fantastic. Weapon level increase as well. C rank in anime magic. Great. Alright, I'll get you there. Get you here. Go down here. Let's, uh, I suppose we'll mend up for the XP. Fantastic color palette, uh, with Natasha there, of course. I could actually, um, 
Yeah, I could borrow someone from this side, huh? Alright, go for it. Bang, alright, good stuff. Fantastic stuff. I should... I don't think I've used Natasha on a thumbnail yet, so I might actually try and, um... Try and get her to... Uh, well, I, I might turn animations on and, or, you know, slow down the animation so we could get a thumbnail for her. Sword Reaver. Okay, cool. So the Killing Edge uh, is gone. That was the one thing I was worried about. We're d we've dealt with that, that's fantastic. Right, and uh, Ford, of course. Ford Falcon, which I think is the name of a car. I don't know why I just said that. He'll be in Danger Zone of this guy, though, I'm guessing. Fenrir Nosferatu. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here, then. That's fine. Bang. Alright, critical. Nice. Let's take a look. Ford is going hard recently. He's going incredibly well. Alright. So, alright, they're trying to- Oh, I didn't even realize there was two Berserkers down there. Alright, sure. Bang, bang. Alright, done. More Wyverns. Okay. Sure, I'll deal with that. That's fine. Alright, Serene's actually doing alright. She's dodging quite a lot of everything, so that's great. More of them? They just don't stop. Do I just have to beat the boss? Is that kind of the thing here, or...? Um, but anyways, bang bang, okay. And then Cormac can get the kill. Yep, cool. Probably should have switched over from the Iron Lance to something else, though, I must admit, but... That's okay, I guess. Um, okay. So, let's see here, what should I do? I can attack him and do zero. That's great, isn't it? You can walk over water. Huh. You can walk on water as well. I might just do that, yeah. Okay. Now, oh, I can't actually reach right now. Well, this turn. Uh, I was gonna check how much Sigmund does against, um... Actually, yeah, Rig and Leaf is kind of... Well, I wouldn't call it worthless, but... You know. It's kind of been replaced at this point. So, uh, yeah. Bit annoying, but hey, that's a great level up, so that's good. Alright, Garcia could... Uh, if he's on this tile, then Leon can't attack him. So, I might just do that. Yep, bang, bang, okay, nice level up. Alright, good stuff, fantastic. Ford could also go here and attack. Keep in mind that there are some berserkers coming up, but uh, we'll be fine with them for now. Alright, Silver Lance, nice, done. Okay, so we'll start moving some, alright, oh, yeah, because of the, the mountains. Which I think only one space. Yeah, so let's do that real quick. And Tetis, oh yeah, Tetis can dance for her, and then get her across, I just realized. And cool. Alright, end turn. Okay, the Wyvern's healing up. More Berserkers coming up. Sure. Alright. Nice. Okay, cool. Again, relatively simple map. There's a shit ton of reinforcements, I don't know why. Well, I know why, it's because it's Fire Emblem. They just, they, they love their- someone, someone in Nintendo, abs or someone in Intelligent Systems, I should say, um, absolutely has a, um, reinforcement fetish. There is no denying that, uh, at this point at all. But I'll just go for the still ones, good. Okay. So, the question, the question remains, can I heal someone? I can Psychic, I'm not gonna do that on Serene though. I really do want her- Sprite, so I can get a thumbnail, so I might just- it's a bit of a waste, I know, but that's okay. There you go. Alright. There you go, future me. I'll just use that as a thumbnail. Good stuff. Fantastic. Alright, and... Well, how much are you doing with Sigmund? 22 times 2, you're actually gonna one-shot him. Alright, well, I might as well start attacking some of these guys, get any last-minute EXP, and then we can get out of here, I think. Yeah, I mean, as much as I do want to support Grand a little bit, like, it isn't a stage that's like that, you know, it's it's a, it's not a seize uh, stage or anything, so. Glassy, I don't care too much about. I want to use Innis then. Yep. Bang, bang. Okay. Let's take a look. Alright, luck resistance. And then I can just get Ford this kill, I think. Although, Ford is in range, so maybe that's why he's finishing him off. How much are you doing? Zero. Okay, so I was gonna say even... Well, actually, loot can come down here. And do zero. I'm not gonna worry too much about this guy, then. Actually, I could go in with... 
Yeah, I suppose I could go in with Garcia for that final chip da damage. If I move forward out the way, I feel like, um... Also, I could get Erica up here. 23 times 2, yeah, exactly. So, that's kind of what I was thinking here. Uh, yeah, no one else can reach. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it then. Right, finish your, your best friend off or whatever. Wesleyan, what have you done with our friend? Answer me! <laughs> what a splendid fool you make. Shall I dress you in a just justice cap? Shall we watch you jape in my demon's court? <laughs> I, s I said something else very bad, um, by accident. Uh, that's getting caught. Leon is dead, I devout him. Can you not understand? Monster, I love his sprite as well. He's, uh, he's a cool new sprite. Well, you're gonna get, uh, defeated by the Sigmund, so it literally makes no sense. Or, it, like, it literally doesn't matter. Very cool animation, I dig it. The Fenrir. Okay, and you miss. <laughs> Loser. Alright, get hit by, get, get Sigmunded. Yeah. <sighs> is that it for him, or is he gonna come back? I feel like he's gonna, uh, still be in the story somehow, maybe? I don't know. You can never tell with Fire Emblem. Um, sometimes they'll just kill off, like, any really important character as a boss or something. Uh, but we got Nosferatu, cool. Did not mean to do that, that's okay. Alright, here we are. Ugh, but I can't hold up to such as this. A cursed human flesh is too brutal, too weak. Oh, they're all chasing after him. Milra as well. Hold, Leon. Now I know your strength, it is time to leave. Sacrifice this flesh and return to my body of old. This does not end, the world would run again in darkness. Alright, if you say so, buddy. We will not let you flee after him, Erica. We have to find where he's gone, search everywhere. I can't allow him to desecrate my friend's body any longer. Alright. Erica, Prince Sinus. No need to panic, my soldiers pursue our Prince Leon's trail. A track is excellent, so they will have him soon. Good. There's something I need to speak with you about. The messenger I sent to Frelia returned not, uh, not long ago. She brought a package I'd requested, Frelia's sacred twins. You have the sacred twins? Yes, Frelia may have lost her sacred stone, however, it seems the sacred twin relics remained undisturbed. I had them brought here. Behold, these. It's interesting how they're sacred twin weapons, but there's only one pair of sacred twins, as in, like, humans, as in Ephra, Ephiram and Erica. Like, it'd be interesting if Innes had a twin, you know? Frelia's sacred twins. Nidhogg. That sounds kind of gross. The Serpent Bow, oh, you're definitely getting that. And Vidofnir, the Winged Lance, I see. Which uh, might go to Ford or someone, interesting. Or, or Cormac, you can never tell, you can never tell. So we get, we're getting most of them, I want you to take them. These are for you, aren't they? They're for the rules of Frelia. No, I entrust them to your care. In the lead of this army, use them as you see fit. Thank you, Prince Innes. Appreciate your sacrifice. Yeah, that is true, none of their characters can use spears. Um, as in Innes' little group. So, there's no sacrifice, and no kind of thanks. We're fighting for the same thing, your victory. Nidhogg, okay. Um, sure. And Vidfnir. Vidofnir, sorry. Yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. We're just gonna end it abruptly there. Well, hopefully you'll uh, enjoy this episode of Sacred Stones. My voice will be much better next time, so don't worry about that too much. Uh, anyway, so the time being, I'm gonna end things off here. So I hope to see you all next time with Chapter 18. Um, yeah. I've been uh, very much enjoying this game so far, so um, can't wait to see where it goes uh, in the climax. Can't wait to see how it ends. So, anywho, I'm going to end things off here. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.